Hello guys and welcome to what is the output series in Python programming by Amulya's Academy. Today here I will give you a program you need to guess the output of that program. Later we will execute the program and we will see whether you got the correct answer or not. So here is the program. Pause this video and try to guess the output of this program. Alright I hope you have your answer now. So let's execute this program and uh, check whether you got the proper answer or not. So save and execute. The answer is 43. Now if your answer is correct then you know how this program works. If not I'll explain you. Now to understand this program how it works you need to be familiar with two concepts. One is you need to know how break statements works and another one is how the else case works with the loops. So here initially we took count as zero. Next we have a for loop. It will execute its body five times. I value can be zero, one, two, three, four. Next inside that we have another loop that is the while loop and here we have a condition. And next inside that we have a if condition. If the if condition becomes true, we'll execute the break statement. Otherwise, we are incrementing the count by 10. And here we are incrementing the i value. Next, we have else case for while loop. Here we can see else body. And also we have else case for for loop. Lastly, we'll print the count. Before analyzing the program line by line, let's see how break statement works. We can use break statements in the loops. And when that break statement is executed, the control will come out of the loop. The break statement terminates the loop containing it. That means when break statement is executed, it will terminate this while loop because the break statement is present inside this while loop, right? That's why. Next, let's talk about the else case with the loops. The else block just after the for loop or while loop is executed only when the loop is not terminated by the break statement. In another words, you can say the else block of the for loop or while loop will not execute only when the loop is terminated by the break statement. If the loop is not terminated by the break statement, then it will execute the else part. Okay, just remember this. Right, so now we know what is break statement and how else block will work with the loops. So let's analyze this program line by line. So here the first statement is count is zero. So I'll take a variable called count and I'll initialize that to zero. Next here we can see for loop for i in range five. So i value can be zero, one, two, three and four. And initially i value will be zero. Next it will execute the for loop body and it will check while i is less than three. Here i is zero, zero is less than three, true. So it will execute the loop body. It will check this if i is equal to equal to 1. i value is 0. 0 is not equal to 1. So this condition become false. If this condition become false, it will execute this statement. Count is equal to count plus 10. So count will be incremented to 10. Now count value becomes 10. Initially it was 0. Now 0 plus 10. So it will become 10. Here next we'll increment the i value i equal to i plus 1. I was initially 0, now i becomes 1. Now again the control goes to the while loop and it will check i is less than 3. Here i is 1 now, 1 is less than 3, true. So it will execute if condition, it will check i is equal to equal to 1. So now this condition is true. Here i is 1 and 1 is equal to 1. So that's why it will execute the break statement. As I said, when break statement is executed, it will terminate the loop. It will come out of the loop. So while loop will be terminated and control will come here else part. But because the while loop is terminated by the break statement, else part won't be executed. As I said, the else block with the for loop while loop will be executed only when loop is not terminated by the break statement. Here loop is terminated by the break statement. So it won't execute the else part. Now again control will go to the for loop because we took this while loop inside the for loop. So here after completing the while loop uh, execution control will again go to the for loop. Now i becomes 1 here. So again it will check 1 is less than 3. True. So next it will check if i is equal to equal to 1. 
yes it is also true right one is equal to one so break statement will be executed so it will come out of the while loop and control will come to this else block but be because this while loop is terminated by the break statement it won't execute the else part so control will again go to the for loop now i value becomes two so it will check while condition two is less than three true so it will check if i is equal to equal to one two is not equal to one right so it will execute this count is equal to count plus 10 count was initially 10 now it becomes 20 here i is 2 right so i is 2 now so 2 plus 1 now i becomes 3 so now again control will go here and it will check the while condition 3 is less than 3 no it is false so it will come out of the while loop and it will execute else block now because while is not terminated by the break statement it will execute the else block count will be incremented by 1 so now count becomes 21 now again control will go to the for loop now i value is 3 so it will check while 3 is less than 3 no it is false right condition is false so control will come here else part it will execute the else block because while loop is not terminated by the break statement it is terminated because the condition failed so it will execute the else block so count becomes 22 now again after executing the while loop control will again go to the for loop and now i value is 4 so it will check 4 is less than 3 no 4 is not less than 3 so this condition is false so it will come out of the while loop and it will execute else body so count becomes 23 initially it was 22 now it is 23 now again control will go to the for loop now here range is over so it will come out of the loop and it will execute else part because this for loop is not terminated by the break statement it is terminated because here range is over that's why it will execute this now count equal to count plus 20 count is 23 plus 20 so it becomes 43 so now it will come out of the loop and it will print this count so we'll get output as 43 i hope now you understood how this program works now if i take this as 200 then i'll get output as 223 because from this we got the output as 23 plus 200 so we'll get 223 here you can see so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care